Jara Butler has created this part of Supermajority where Supermajority was just online. Like, we were living in an online world. And Jara was like, no, we need to get on the ground and organize. It is possible, and we can do it. In 2022, we started our first organizing on the ground. Nationally, we contacted over 3.6 million. I man Michigan, we did like 1.2 million in Michigan, helped to flip four counties, did the trifecta, and it's because Jara Butler pushed for us to start this program, a black woman. So I want to introduce you all, and I love her, Jara Butler. Hello, my name is Jara Butler, and I'm the Chief Impact Officer at Supermajority an organization singularly focused on building women's political power to create a future where we are all truly equal. Supermajority is proud to sponsor this reception. And personally, I am deeply honored to be recognized by the National Congress of Black Women, which was founded by so many women that I view as heroes, Shirley Chisholm, Coretta Scott King, C. Dolores Tucker, and Dr. Dorothy Height. At Supermajority, we believe that those closest to the pain, particularly women of color, should be front and center in addressing our nation's most pressing issues. This is a value that guides us, a value that guides me and our work would not be possible without all the incredible women past and present, who have been leading this work at the National Congress of Black Women. I want to first of all thank um, the Metro Congress of uh, Black Women for um, acknowledging me. Um, for a long time, especially in the work that we do, I've been the only. And I remember Michelle Obama, actually, I was 25 years old. I was in a room and she said, we have a moral obligation not to sit on our blessing. So if you're there, you need to bring others with you. And that is how I live and how I lead. Because there can't just be me. Because when I leave this earth, there's gotta be somebody to take my place. But I don't want just one, I want two. And I'm sad, I'm, I'm happy, I'm elated, um, but I'm thinking about two people, my daddy. Um, if you can't talk, my daddy's girl. Um, and I lost him two years ago. But I hope he's proud today. <laughs> because, um, he worked every day. He worked his fingers to the bone to put me in private school. He worked his fingers to the bone to get me to college. I graduated from the University of Georgia with, on a scholarship. Um, thank you. He worked every single day for me to have these opportunities. And the second person is probably judging me from heaven and telling Jesus to get out of the way is my grandmother. And I'm going to tell you about her because every room that I'm in, I want her name to be known. She wasn't... Um, <laughs> Her name was Hattie Bagby. She was born in 1900. She was the first in her family to be born outside of the institution of slavery. My great-grandmother was born not far from where I currently live in Alexandria, Virginia, on a plantation. My grandmother saw freedom. She saw a lot of things. But the thing that she saw for me is she told my mother when I was four years old, because my grandmother taught me how to read. So I was reading at two and a half, three years old. And what was explained to me is that she said, if there was ever come a day when someone, when you have to take a test or someone has to challenge you, I want her to be ready. My grandmother never told me that there were limits. The world did, but she told me I could do anything. And so when people say, boy, you're confident, or you sure do have a lot of pride, I'm like, I do, because I'm Hattie Mae Bagby's granddaughter. Um, <laughs> So I'm grateful for this award, and I want to um, dedicate it to my daddy, mm -hmm. 
Um, my mommy, who couldn't be here, she's with me. She just 70, celebrated 75 years. Um, and to my grandmother, because without her, I wouldn't be here. And because of the black women that came before her, my great-grandmother, Lavinia, who never got these opportunities, I do it for her. And I hope that the next generation does it for me and for everyone in this room, because it, it's more than just us. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much.